Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to welcome to open the baton for the ministers, junior minister in the Nevis Island administration. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and welcome the Honorable John L. Nisbet, Minister of Health et al. to come and recite, ladies and gentlemen. Keep the hands going for her, ladies and gentlemen, as she comes. my mind takes flight, creating visions of change, breaking the night. My voice may be soft, but my message is clear. I won't let your judgments instill doubt or fear, for beneath this gentle exterior you'll find a spirit unyielding, tenacious, and kind. I don't need validation or constant praise to rise above the challenges and find my own ways. In the stillness, I find the power to heal, to mend broken hearts, to inspire, to reveal. So don't mistake my silence for surrender or defeat. I am more than the words that I choose to speak. My worth is measured. My worth isn't measured by the noise I can make, but by the impact that I leave in my wake. I won't be a walkover, not a pushover for sure. In my quiet strength, I'll rise, I'll explore. I'll break down barriers, dismantle the norm. In the face of ad adversity, I'll transform. So remember, my quietness is not a flaw. It's a weapon I wield, a secret I draw. In this world of noise, I'll make my stand, for, for I am powerful, just as I am. I may often smile, but I never joke. Stay woke. The second piece is quite a few years old, but it is one of my favorites, so I'm going to recite it for you today. I am woman. I was not made from a man, more than nor less than. I am woman, a unique being, surpassed by none, because I can be classed with none. I am woman. So when you think about how I dare to express myself mentally, so when you think about how I dare to express myself sexually or surpass you mentally, remember, I am woman. When I raise my voice and you raise your fist, I pray to God that you remember that this is not the 1700s and while I am my mother's daughter, I don't subscribe to the crap that her mother taught her. I am not your property and I will not do obediently as you say. We are strong, we are bold, we are fierce. Even in the face of you trying to degrade and disgrace us, we rise up, we stand tall, we speak out. We cannot be gagged even with acid in our face or when you mutilate our genitals because you, lay, you fear the power of what lays beneath our lace, wigs that is because our mental capacity is dynamite and you know I'm right. That's why they try to legislate our lives from how we dress to how much we earn to our ability to earn a living to feed those babies that they decided that we must have. Because a body of men must know what's best for the body of a woman, right? Wrong. And when we get pissed, they have the audacity to label us angry feminists. Well, damn right I'm angry. And I will not hide it behind a, pass a, a, 
I will not hide it behind a servile smile to pacify any fragile egos. The very egos that lead to the exploitation of our girls whose stories lay buried, untold, next to their innocence, whose battered bodies are found after being senselessly abused, used to make them feel more man and us less woman. Then they perpetuate the fallacy that here in the Caribbean, there are no real women's issues because here they call us queens. Never mind, they treat us like Q-U-E-A-N, queen, with an A that is, look it up. Never mind that 40% of women in Jamaica says that their first sexual encounter was forced or coerced. I said never mind that 40% of women in Jamaica says their first sexual experience was forced or coerced. Because it could be worse, right? So tell me again how well we're doing and how good we have it because we don't live in a hell where women are bought and sold as young as six and seven years old. Perhaps if you say it loud enough, you will not hear when I shout enough is enough. We have had enough. We were not made for men more than nor less than. We are women. Unique being surpassed by none because we can be classed with none. We are women. Emboldened by our courage and strengthened by our passions. We are women and we demand change. Thank you.